Welcome, welcome again. We I just put this um, in front of the video just to show you this uh, cool slide of um, remote SSH and Vim, right? A person who loves Vim or V, right? Let's see. Uh, do you know how to exit out? Is it enter? Is it no? Escape? Is it Q? Is it no? Is it oh? What's this? Escape? W? Nope. Q? Yes, from time to time, we still forget how to exit out and insert um, characters in your V or Vim editor, right? So this would be a tutorial to kill V or Nano or whatever, right? Okay, so the goal is we, we have to um, SSH to our um, EC2 server, right? And um, usually we go through the terminal and we do LS, CD, oh my god, a lot of those, right? So first, I'll show you, right, an AWS instance that I would launch, okay? And for now, I'll just do a T2 Nano, right? And I'll create a new key pair. And for this one, I'll say goodbye Vim and download key pair. And place that in my dev keys folder. Save that. Okay. Launch the instance. Right. View the instance. And let's also edit this thing to say goodbye, Vim. Okay. Now our instance is up and running. Let's see the details. Right. Um, yeah. So, okay, so we should we go to the terminal and access our EC2 server, right? But what if we don't want that, okay? So go to your .ssh folder, right? Um, and create a file, for now let's use the view, and name config, right? And have the following for the host, See, I forgot again. I press I to insert. For the host, let's add a name. Let's say goodbye Vim. For the host name, let's copy that uh, IPv4. Did we copy that? Okay. Are we able to paste? Yes. The user is Ubuntu and the identity file lives in slash dev slash key slash goodbye dash Vim dot pem. Okay, let's go ahead and escape colon wq to write and just verify that quickly. We do have that. Okay, so let's now move to our Visual Studio code and go to your extensions and just search SSH. Okay, and then use this um, remote dash SSH plugin, install it. Next thing you would have is now this remote explorer icon and you now click that click the settings icon and slash user and this ssh config and i can see that uh, and now i just hit save actually right and now you can see it updated what's this magic can i click it it opened a new tab what it's connecting continue sure Oh, permission denied. Okay, is it too open though? So, okay, it seems like we need the 400. Let's try that again. Exit this out and try to connect. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Click the file explorer, open a folder, and let's open the slash home slash Ubuntu. And then, wow, right? Let's test it out now. Let's say a Python, oops, let's say python.py, right? And let's say print, hello. And let's see if we can SSH again. Uh, SSH dash I dev keys 
good by Vimpram Ubuntu at that one. Okay. And you can see my python.py file. Voila, I don't need to do this, right? I can just go here, right? You see it? I'm just using my VS code. Wow. Time to say goodbye to V. Thank you, VS code. And that's how Vim died in the virtual world, right?